Hello everyone, this is DA from A Academy and today we are going to see the difference between limit, adherent and isolated points. Firstly, I am going to talk about adherent point. So, if we have a metric space M and we have a subset of a metric space that is represented by S and if we have a point from a metric space M and we represent it by X, small x. Here X is outside from the subset of M that is S. So X is outside from S and if X is in S then the definition of the adherent point is true. So I am taking the case when X is outside from S. So you can check that whether the definition that I am going to talk about is true for x that is in s or not so now we have a matrix space that is m we have a subset of a matrix space that is s and we have an element of m that is x so this x is said to be an adherent point of that subset s so x is said to be an adherent point of a subset of of m that is s if there exists an element from that subset so we can represent element of capital s uh, by small s such that that element of s that is small s belongs to an open ball that has a center x and radius r that is this open ball contains those elements of metric space m whose distance with that x that is the center of the open ball is less than r and what is the criteria of r that r for all of the r that is greater than zero so we can summarize this as that if we have a metric space m and we have a subset of a metric space that is s and we take a point x from m that may be a member of that subset s so x small x that is an element of m is said to be an adherent point of s if there exists an element that is small s such that every open ball centered at x contains at least one element from s that is if this is an open ball that has a center x and then this area of s that is in the overlapping region so if there exists an element of, of s here then this x is said to be an adherent point of, of that s so here every open ball centered at x and why we are taking x because x is a point that is under consideration uh, that is x is an adherent point or not so that is why x is a center of our open ball and every open ball of radius r greater than zero so if every open ball centered at x contain at least one element from s so we can say that x is said to be an adherent point and we can also write simply this as if x is an element of a metric space and x is an adherent point of a set s that is a subset of m if for all of the radius if for all of the r that is greater than zero the open ball bxr intersection with that s is not equal to empty set that is not empty so this is the formal definition of what is an adherent point and we can also say in a precise way that what is an adherent point so we can write this as well for this for its definition now moving toward the definition of the accumulation i will use the word limit point here instead of the accumulation point because I am using AP that is a different point so accumulation point create confusion so the definition of a limit point is if we have a metric space M and we have a subset of a metric space that is S and we have a point X of that metric space so here again X may be an element of the set S because x is an element of the metric space so x may be in s or outside from s so i'm taking it outside from s and 
we have a matrix space M, we have a subset of a matrix space that is S, we have an element of M that is X. So this X is said to be a limit point of S if there exists an element in S that is represented by small s as well here. So if X is an element of the set X, so we have to make a statement here that the small x must be element of s other than x. In a different point, there is no restriction. The chosen s, that is an element of s, is an element other than x or not. But in the limit point, there is a restriction that if x, that is an element of a metric space, if it's an element of s as well, then the chosen point s from s must be other than the point x so here s belongs to the subset s must be an element other than the point x so this x is said to be a limit point if s belongs to the open ball that has a center x and radius r for all of the r greater than zero and contains element of m whose distance with x is smaller than r. So here we can say that if we have a matrix space m, we have a subset of a matrix space that is s, and we have a point x from a matrix space, then this is said to be a limit point or the accumulation point of s if there exists an element from s other than x such that the condition hold that is every open ball centered at x contains at least one element from s that is different from x and this is the difference between adherent point and limit point that in this adherent point we have no any restriction of choosing s that is an element of s other than the x that was under consideration there is a restriction that every ball centered at x contains at least one element from s that is different from x and we can also write in a precise way as if x is an element of a matrix space and it is a limit point or accumulation point of, of the set s that is a subset of m if for all r greater than zero the open ball that has a center x with the radius r for all r greater than zero intersection with s that is uh, if x is an element of s then s if x is an element of s then the points other than x was under consideration when talking about the limit point so the intersection must be non-empty so this is the definition of the limit point now moving toward isolated points here we have a matrix space m and a subset of a matrix space that is s and now we have a point x in that subset s so this point that is x is an element of s is an isolated point of s if there exists a positive real number that is here we are considering r is a positive real number and for all of the positive real numbers that is r greater than zero so if we have a positive real number and we represent it by r not because we have only a positive real number such that the open ball that has a center x and with that radius r naught that contains elements of m y belongs to m such that the distance between elements of elements of m that are y and that x is less than that radius r naught so we can say that if we have a metric space m and we have a subset s and we have a point in that subset that is s then this point is said to be an isolated point of s if there exists a positive real number that is our node greater than zero such that we have an open ball and that this open ball contains no points from s other than x so this is said to be an isolated so this x is said to be an isolated point and we can also write it as that here if x is an element of s is an isolated point if there exists a real number that is r0 greater than 0 such that the open ball that is a center x and radius r0 intersection with s other than that point is, is empty. So 
the open ball contains no points from s other than x so this is the definition of the isolated point so this is for now looking for most videos and you can subscribe this channel in order to watch more upcoming videos we will meet in the next video till then take care goodbye